previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you keep your asses over here, both of you! They shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Cutting it off won't work. Says who? I knew someone who tried it. Just because it didn't work once don't mean it can't work at all. All down, you on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. 
Probably tastes like pine tar by now. Will you show me how to do it? Hell no. Why not? Ellen Breslin. San Bernardino Borden School, June 63. One pack and I was hooked. <laughs> that broad. Couldn't kiss worth a damn. You got a light? That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. What does it feel like? Uh, it feels like... Like a rope was wrapped around my neck. I'm getting tighter every second. It feels like I... Can't <coughs> can't breathe. Would you would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with.
Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Take it. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry sorry Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. You mind if I come in? Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. No, I guess not. 
That's a nice place. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Hey, you can talk to me, all right? I'm not gonna bite you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. And I can't stand that Yankee weather. Who have you met going north? Oh, hell, a lot of folks. Anyone named Krista? No, not that I can recall. She a friend of yours? Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. It's a real nice place, kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is here. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? 
You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. I thought you opened the door. Jesus. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Why do you care so much? Excuse me? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere.
Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Uncle Pete! Anyone see him? Pete! Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? But she better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable, 
little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. I've got the big one. Hey, kid. Look, it's not like I don't know you have guts, but are you crazy? Maybe I am. Just stick with the plan, okay? Go ahead. Give it a 